Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a short video, a uh, quick update on what I've got going on with the Linux mining um, and what I think now that I'm about a week in and uh, how things are going. So, first off, cons um, of Linux uh, no way to change voltage via software, um, no BIOS tools like GPUZ and RBE for changing the BIOS ROMs, uh, and you can only downclock the memory software wise to 900. Um, you're of course more than capable of overclocking because uh, that's usually what people want for gaming um, but underclocking the RAM you're limited to 900 for some ridiculous reason uh, so if you want to actually mine in Linux you're gonna have to flash your cards using ATI flash in DOS or some other wind flash tool if that works for you I didn't have any luck with any of those uh, the pros uh, Linux is very scriptable most of the programs are command line driven and that makes scripting them incredibly easy, way easier than Windows. Windows has scripting, but eh, not really. That's a joke. Um, Linux is much more stable. Uh, in Windows, if a card, just one, were to crash, uh, it would freeze the whole system, and all mining would stop. <laughs> in Linux, uh, and I've only had this happen once when I overclocked a little bit too far, uh, one card will die, the rest will keep chugging along. Uh, and I've got a cron job that reboots every six hours, so if that were to happen and I were away, the worst uh, that would happen is that card would be down for about six hours until the reboot happened and then it would be back up uh, and most likely chug along, or if it crashed, then it would, you know, this would fix itself every six hours. Um, the cards, I'm right now running at 900 core and 300 uh, memory. I'm using Diablo Miner with two vectors and a 256 work size and I'm getting 360 mega hashes per second 360 to 365 and that's about 1460 14 I know you guys will correct me if I'm wrong about 1460 mega hashes per second total which is really good I'm very pleased with that on stock voltage um, so verdict Linux is better uh, if you're not comfortable with command line uh, I would say, you know, you're probably just going to have to stick with Windows. Um, but I do Linux stuff uh, for my job, so uh, it's very simple and easy for me to do that. Um, you will have to watch Windows more often, because, like I said, if it crashes, it crashes your whole system, and it won't. It usually doesn't uh, reboot. I've heard people say it'll do that automatically sometimes, but it never happened for me. It just stayed stuck. And usually, when I was at work or asleep, and so it would be stuck, not mining for hours. Um, I'm definitely planning to reinvest. It was a trial sort of to see if it was going to be profitable. Uh, it was profitable. Uh, however, there's no more 5850s in stock anywhere. You can go to eBay, they're all used, and you know, you're know you not usually going to find four of a kind. Um, and you don't know the condition of used cards. So I did a bunch of research to find out what would be the next best card. Uh, and it appears the 5830s are the next best one. The 5850s uh, if you base per dollar spent on one card, uh, you can get, I'm getting 360 mega hashes, and that ends up being about 51 cents per mega hash, uh, just for the card, not accounting electricity used or anything like that. And the 5830s, which are much cheaper at $100 a card, are getting about uh, 43 cents per mega hash. Um, so it's about 7 cents more efficient, actually. Uh, the total system that I built on Newegg was I think $959 shipped uh, with the 5830 so that's pretty good too and that's definitely something I'll be doing in the next week or two uh, so I have a video on that when it comes up uh, other than that uh, there's nothing more I had to say today my temps are looking good I'm at 67, 63, 66 and 48 uh, which is way under the high threshold so that's perfectly fine if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, favorite, whatever. Uh, and uh, my donation address is in the description if uh, anything I've told you is helpful. Thanks a bunch.